Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May and my channel I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, and food review haul videos. Today's video is going to be a huge Costco haul and this is a special edition because this is actually our 4th of July grill barbecue Costco haul. And what's special about this year is pretty much I think everything we bought are pretty healthy they're definitely on the healthier side so if you are looking for something to grill on the 4th of july for your family maybe these items you know some last minute items if you're looking to buy are gonna be helpful to you before we start don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into today's video i just really really wanted to try this out together with you guys this is the Japanese style cheesecakes. So these are different from the traditional cheesecakes. Even usually Japanese dessert, they're not as sweet. They're also very light in terms of the texture and flavor. And usually like the cheesecake that they have are not like super solid. And um, the package from Costco has two of these. So first remove the inner plastic covering from the cheesecake while frozen. Place the cake into the box and defrost in the fridge overnight or let it in a room temperature for four hours and cheesecake may be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. So for warm cheesecake, you can even like thaw it and microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. It's in a plate now. Okay, microwave 20 seconds. 20 seconds? For warm cheesecake. What is he doing? That's okay, so grab it! Just grab it! That's the supposed to eat this whole thing? No, we're just gonna cut it. It's supposed to be lighter than the air and not too sweet. You say everything is lighter than the air. This one is lighter than the air. I've had it in China, but not in Japan. So let's try this. You can try it out. It tastes the same as the ones I used to have in China. It tastes like cheesecake. Your lipstick is on it. Too bad to eat it. I'm sure it's edible. It's lighter than the air. I told you. I, we've had it in China, remember? No, no, I've had this before. Yeah. Tastes more like sponge cake. It, it has like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Go Simba, away, Simba. go away, go away. Don't hurt my cat, you busy. Go away, hey, Simba. go away. Go away, go Simba. You busy. Hey, Simba. Simba, go away, that's the camera, go away. <laughs> the Don't do are... that, he wants it. Crisis averted. It's not the jiggly cake that I wanted though. It is good. It is the cheesecake that I had, like the Japanese cheesecake I had in China. It's exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, it tastes definitely like the Chinese version. It is. Or the Japanese version. It's the same. It's just like all important. For There's me. a big difference though between this and the uh, New York cake. style cheesecake. Yeah, this it's is very way, different. Way lighter. The way texture lighter. is more like sponge cake, angel it's food It's very cake. soft. And then the cheese is not sweet. Yeah, it's not sweet. It has a cheese flavor, but it's not sweet. It doesn't taste like super like like a cake-like. It's almost like a- I could definitely eat probably the whole thing though. Yeah, he, like you could easily overeat this because it's lighter than the air. But I can say like, I think this is the real deal. Like it's pretty authentic. Like the, the one I had good, in Asia. But it would be better with some sort of topping. Well, because it's not sweet enough for you, of Well, course. no, because I'd rather eat with like fruit on the side. Maybe You're throw... just trying to eat New York style cheesecake. That's how yeah, that's Maybe certain. I throw some Nutella on there, some peanut butter. Maybe strawberries. Yeah, strawberries for sure, berries. Overall, 8 of 8.0. 8.0. I will give it 9.5 out of 10 only because it's very nostalgic for me. This is a cheesecake that I used to eat on my birthday when I was in China. It's not supposed to be super, super sweet. And we also didn't have the graham crackers at the bottom for sure. So it's not very, very cheesy. It's kind of creamy, but also kind of very light. It's not like that. Not very creamy. I it's guess. not dense like cream, but it's like that. It's kind of like instead of whipped cream, heavy cream versus whipped cream, like both of them are creamy. But I'm saying this one is super light. It's creamy, but it's not dense. It's super like non-dense right I it's guess. just more light like this, it's super you don't light feel like you're super fat and heavy after eating it. yeah it, it feels like you know something you eat basically when you drink boba tea matcha right tea yeah 
Not like the cheesecake factory. Not like the, the super sweet cheesecake factory. Another item that we got from Costco is the white nectarines. $10 for a lot of them is definitely the best price and they actually really have really fresh nectarines. So highly recommend these. And also, I've bought these white nectarines from Whole Foods before. The ones from Whole Foods, they didn't go bad after like three weeks, which is very weird. Versus the one from Costco, they go bad after pretty much a week or like a nine days. So I I don't know if it's because this one is more organic or something, but there's something fishy about the nectarines that I got from Whole Foods that it didn't go bad for like three whole weeks versus these go bad like really quickly after a week. So, all right, 4th of July items, must buy item for 4th of July. We actually got it like, I think last year. It was so, so good. That makes me want to get it again. This is the Kirkland Signature 100% grass fed beef patties. It says race without antibiotics or hormones. It's 80% lean and 20% fat. I think the fat to lean ratio is pretty good. Higher fat than this is too too fatty versus like if it's too lean then you don't have that like nice juicy texture. So this one is perfect and also what I love about this item is also grass fed. I don't know about you guys, but when I eat beef, like I actually taste different when it's grass fed compared to non grass fed. For some reason, I just feel like the grass fed beef, they taste just a little bit more fresh. And grass fed beef, they're usually really expensive, and from Costco, it's definitely a better deal. So, highly recommend these for burgers. So, to eat these we actually got the cheese um the cheese we got are not organic um but i like cheddar cheese better i think it tastes better with the grass-fed beef those two together and for the buns instead of getting like normal hamburger buns which are like there's so much carbs in there we actually got these solar bread buns so i have no solar bread i've been eating solar bread for like a while my friend who was on keto diet actually introduced me to the solar bot bread these are not as like low carb compared to the sliced bread from the solar bread brand sweet and buttery burger buns so these are super good because they only contains 19 grams of carbs and 10 grams of the carbs are actually dietary fiber net carbs is only 7 grams of net carbs if you want to be mindful of your carb intake but you also want to enjoy that hamburger textures because before when i was trying to like control my carb intake i used to only eat the patty instead of like the burger but then i felt like i was missing out so like now i can actually eat like real thing and what I love about this is it contains a lot of fiber, 10 grams of fiber, and 14 grams of protein. Two of these, because they come in a pack of 12 burger buns, but there are 15 patties in, in here. So we are forced to buy two, of course, but you can also like use it for other things. So, so these vegetables are really good for saute or grill, but it also comes with one jalapeno and some onions. So we were thinking about like caramelized onions to put on top of the burgers and put maybe like some bell peppers as like some crunchies. I like to put like random stuff in my burgers just to increase that texture. So this is probably gonna be really, really good, especially with that jalapenos. I think it's gonna taste really, really good. We got these tomatoes. Let's put ketchup or put like fresh tomatoes. I love fresh tomatoes in my sandwich or in my burger. I kind of want something that's like has a little bit of like citrusy thing. And these are really good tomatoes because fresher, I think they taste better as well. Spring mixed. Wait, I love to put the spring mix in my burgers as well. It's healthier, so you're eating some vegetables, some like tomatoes, it's technically a fruit, some cheese and burgers in the low carb buns, which is amazing. Pickles, like Costco almost sold out on those pickles. The Costco pickles taste so, so good and refreshing and they're really, really good price as well. Ingredient list, it's very clean. It's cucumbers, the brine, which contains water distilled white vinegar, salt, garlic dill and grape leaves like it's just that traditional dill pickles and it doesn't have any weird natural flavors or whatever like random things they put in there to 
make that pickle flavor. So highly, highly recommend this. Get this one. Cook the burgers or to cook the things, we're gonna use the grass-fed butter. Ta-da! It's product of New Zealand. The only thing is that these are salted butter. So if you're looking for unsalted butters, these are not for you. I think this is the only option of the grass-fed. These are 95% grass-fed, so not 100%. The burger patties are actually 100% versus this butter is 95%, but it's good enough and it's way cheap. I forgot to buy these from Costco, so I was like going to different grocery stores and I'm trying to look for grass-fed butter. It was just so hard to find grass-fed butter. And if you find them, they're usually very expensive, but the Costco ones are pretty affordable. So we got this and the cows are from New Zealand, which is pretty good as well. So we got these. If you have a Costco near you, get these ones. Now let's talk about sausages or hot dogs. There's so many options out there, right? And then I found these from Costco. It's from the brand Teton Waters Ranch. And these are 100% grass-fed beef polish sausage so these are not the traditional sausage for hot dogs I acknowledge that but I think they're good enough right so this is what it looked like they're in a nice enough shape if they're too fat you can probably cut it in half but I think this is pretty good right so what I love about this item is of course it's grass-fed the only thing is none of these are organic but I care more about like what the cows eat instead of like if they're organic you know what another thing i love about this item is there is no added sugar to this item because a lot of the sausage out there there's they add sugar in the sausage i don't know why like you're eating protein you're not eating the sugar right if you look at the ingredient list it's super clean it's grass-fed beef water less than two percent of the following ingredients including sea salt vinegar spices including paprika celery powder garlic powder and cherry powder so the ingredient list is super super clean you're eating beef so you know you're eating beef you're not eating like beef with cornstarch and you know the random things that sometimes they put in the sausage or hot dogs and stuff and these are gluten-free and fully cooked so they're super easy to grill you just need to warm it up and give it a little bit of charcoal and they will taste really really good and of course for the hot dogs we have to get the hot dogs buns seven grams of carbs net carbs also 14 grams of protein 10 grams of dietary fiber so those are definitely like oh, again the solar bread for the hot dog you really really want to eat low carbs the regular solar bread on the slices they're less carbs like i think the net carbs is only two grams but i want them to be like normal shaped buns i want the normal shaped buns the normal shaped hot dogs it's just create that like festive vibes of course and another thing that does really really well on the grill or for like anything to garnish the burgers i love the organic baby bella mushrooms so these work really really well if you just grill them or if you just like saute them with onions and you can put it in between burgers to add that texture of course we got a box of coffee these are the ones we're gonna bring to the office they're on sale seven dollars off and our office has the Keurig machines, but you know, they don't provide coffee. So if you want coffee, you have to buy your own. So me and my friend in the office will just like maybe take turns to buy these and then we'll just share them. And of course, if you think the solar bread still has like too much carbs, cause it's still seven grams of net carbs. Alternatively, you could do the egg white wraps for the sausages. I think that would go really, really well too. Especially, you know, sausage is really easy to wrap off. Um, these are from the brand Egg Life egg life and these are egg white wraps each wrap is 25 calories no fat no carbs and five grams of protein pretty much just like egg white omelet almost boom it's done very very thin so if you're in like keto or low carbs like if you truly want to do keto if you don't want to eat any of this bread and stuff get this i'm not on keto i just want to eat a lot a little bit less carbs because like my blood sugar was a little bit high so i just go for these bread like you know they're not super high in carbs they're super high in fiber but like still it satisfied me like with any cravings and you can also make peanut butter jelly sandwich which I actually prefer almond butter, so I put the Trader Joe's almond butter or Costco almond butter or the Trader Joe's mixed nut butter. It tastes really, really good. So 
big jar of mixed nuts. These are the salted ones. So sometimes when I crave for salty snacks at work, I got this. They're really, really filling. And there's so many options of mixed nuts at Costco. Hey, I just love that traditional extra fancy mix us because you know i just feel like when you put random things in there especially the sweet things it just ruins it for me almost so i got one big jar of mix we got a cooler for our car so it's from the brand is this a l or this is i ig lou this is a brand ig lou and this is a cooler if you are going to see fireworks this is going to be really nice you put your food or whatever drinks um in your coolers really well but the reason why we needed it is because we're going to austin um before the fourth of july and we're gonna get some asian groceries from h mart and 99 ranch and stuff so having a cooler is going to be super helpful for the car ride what i love about this item is that you see there's a wheel so it's just so easy to roll it so if you have a lot of things in your cooler and it's just so hard to carry it and it's gonna break your back like ugh, i always have back pain so i try not to lift too heavy of the weights so i love this retract retractable bars it's pretty nice kind of like the luggage design and it has like one wheel roller so you can just roll in it all you need to do is to load a car and you can just roll it in so it's pretty good i think this one was like $44 or so. It's definitely a really affordable price and it's pretty big. That's a liter, 58 liter. So I really like it. It looks really, really sturdy. So yeah, that's it for today's Costco haul. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions what to buy from Costco, please let us know in a comment down below. And thank you so, so much for your support. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. Your support really means the world to me to keep uploading content and happy 4th of july and i hope everyone have a great weekend and a week ahead bye thanks for watching